Hey guys, Mary J. I'm July 27th at 9 a.m. And even though I'm suffering a lot, the loss of hope, um, maybe now having sleep fatigue syndrome because I'm always tired, and not always having money, being in debt, <laughs> life on medication, having an unknown shaking condition, having to sleep every five hours. <laughs> no teeth up top. Bottom ones are real. Swollen feet. Partially deaf. <laughs> uh, so many other things. So many other issues. Oh, I'll catch up, Sophie. She's going in. Uh... Oops. So she was going in hopes, betting. <laughs> I think she misses hope too. Hey, Jessica. Miss Hope. They were sisters. So much that I'm dealing with physically, emotionally, financially. It's just been really difficult to deal with stuff and keep up with cleaning. But at least I have Josephine and Speckles. And Speckles just turned 16. And Josephine is turning 15 on the 1st. So, I am very thankful to have them. Um, like I said, I have a lot of shit to deal with. <laughs> that a lot of people might not be able to deal with, but at least I can sleep with my cats. And as long as I sleep every, like, five hours, five, five to eight hours for at least two hours, then I'm usually fine. Sometimes I need to sleep. All night, it all depends. So, yeah, it's kind of a rough way to live, but I'm still living. I mean, I'm not, like I keep saying, a lot of people keep trying to tell me that I'm lazy and that I should force myself to stay up, but sometimes I can't because then I just pass out. There's actually been a few times where I passed out in the washroom. <laughs> on the floor, and when I've gone, when I was outside smoking, so, yeah, I can't force myself to stay up, unfortunately, but I do have these babies, <laughs> Josephine and Speckles, so they keep me company, and so I go, I, I have enough on my plate, I don't really need uh, to date, <laughs> At being in a relationship, even if it was to hope, it's just, you still have to, uh, make time for people, and you still have to date to find somebody, and like I said, I have enough going on with doctor's appointments, all next week I have doctor's appointments, and <laughs> it's hard to keep up with that, so, um, it's challenging, and some people just don't realize that it takes, like, a lot of time. Sorry. Josephine keeps pushing the phone. <laughs> Eventually, I gotta get around to clean my DVDs. I started cleaning the table, and it's, like, in piles right now on the floor, but hopefully this weekend I'll be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, it's just... I just got enough to deal with that uh, trying to date. On top of things, it would just be way too complicated, but I'm not lonely. I have my grief. I have my cats. <laughs> and I have my friends that understand. A lot of them, unfortunately, have lost over this time period, but um, that's how I know who's really there for me. And... Yeah, it's just been difficult, but I do manage to also spend time with family. I just don't, I just can't see them all the time, but I try to see them at least once a week, which is what I'm going to do later today. So tomorrow I'll probably go downtown um, to go shopping because it's kind of difficult to do too much at once for me. Uh, yesterday I, I did a lot, so I slept, like I passed out at 9, and then I got up, no, I passed out around 10.30, 10 o'clock, and then I got up around 3 a.m., 
but now I'm tired again, so I'm gonna go to bed right after I eat. But I did a lot of cleaning in the kitchen, so yeah, but I'm not lonely, and I just want to thank everybody who does, who has supported me over the years. Like I said, I've had this unknown shaking condition, like on medication for almost four years now. Um, and then now the sleep fatigue syndrome thing just came probably four or five months now. It was before all this stuff happened with Hope, so... At first I thought it was like the medication and depression, but it happened before all that stuff with Hope happened, so... And it's still going on, so that's why the doctors think it's fatigue, uh, sleep fatigue syndrome. And that's why I'm trying to raise money, because uh, disability, you don't get a lot, and even though, even when you get a decent amount, uh, even when you get more issues to deal with, you don't get more money on top of what you already get, so, yeah, it kind of sucks that way, but even though disability went up a little bit for me, it's still not enough, because I gotta get out of debt, and I'm almost 43, <laughs> In September, so I don't want to be in debt forever, so I've been slowly paying people back and stuff like that. But that's how I ended up in debt in the first place, was because I never asked for help at the beginning of my condition. And so I've been slowly trying to get out of debt. But <clears throat> it's just been hard. And I know I repeat myself a lot, but a lot of people haven't seen my videos, or there's new people that are watching these videos, and... Yeah, just trying to raise money. So I do have a GoFundMe page. I also have uh, MaryMarcha1588 at gmail.com. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I know I bought the grooming tool, which was kind of pricey. That was 60 but it was cheaper than taking the cats to be groomed. It was actually pretty fun to do. Um, and then I did get the Lizzie Borden... TV series on DVD for 10 bucks, but that's for my birthday, so that's an early birthday gift for me, and 10 bucks isn't that much, but I also got these B60 pills for $18.98, so they've been helping a lot, they're vegan, and I've been taking those, so they kind of help. Medication is covered, but sadly, allergy pills are not covered, so um, a lot of money goes to that. Having two cats now instead of three does help out a lot, but it still kind of adds up at the same time. So, because things are not getting any cheaper, and like I've been using the same crappy vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I can't even afford a new vacuum cleaner. Um, like, look how old my TV is. <laughs> but I prefer watching the old TV rather than the new TVs. So, that's still good for me. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just wanted to say that for the new people who watch me on Facebook or on Instagram or on YouTube because there's always new people and they won't go back to, uh, they won't watch my playlists or like old things. So that's why I'm trying to keep people updated and oops. I'm pretty, I did take a shower, but Sometimes I can't take a shower for a few days because I'm too tired. Same with cooking. When I cook, I got it. It takes me like a day just to prep stuff because I clean a while ago, and then by the time it's to cook, I'm too tired. So kind of sucks. <clears throat> but I still manage, and I can't live with anyone because I don't want to live with anybody. And it's just easier this way. Home care doesn't really do much because I have to be available when they are and I never know when I'm awake. So a lot of times I can plan out. It's just, yeah, home care, they're more like for like taking a shower. But as long as I take a nap and then take a shower when I'm kind of awake but not quite awake yet, then I can still take a shower. But 
I don't really go anywhere, so sometimes there's no point to take a shower. So that's why I choose to clean or cook instead. But yeah, so once again, that's why I do um, updated videos throughout my day, because I want people to know what life is like on medication, being tired all the time, doctors, having cats, <laughs> being on disability, having so many issues. Um, like I said, it's not just one thing that I have. I always had issues since I was born because I was a surviving triplet. And it's just the way that's always been. But like I said, I, I never give up. I just go to sleep. <laughs> so on that note, I am going to finish eating my pasta and watch Gilmore Girls. I usually watch her till I'm done eating and then I pass out. So, thank you to who listens, and if anybody else is going through sleep fatigue syndrome, please let me know uh, how it is for you, because I know some people, like, sleep all day, and they only wake up to, like, eat, or they live in a home, stuff like that. I don't want, I don't want to live in a home. I want to kind of stay on my own, because I prefer it that way. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not lonely though. Um, like I said, I have my friends, I have my family, and I have my cats. Hopefully for another few years and that speckles making noise. <laughs> so yeah, um, again, I don't always post on Instagram and Facebook. So come over to my YouTube channel, Phantom Stories. If you could donate, uh, please do. If you can't, just share my channel. Because then eventually I can make money that way. And yeah, thanks for all your support. And if anybody's dealing with issues like I am, if somebody understands, <laughs> you're not alone. So don't suffer alone. Um, it could always be worse, but if you need to sleep, sleep. And just make sure you wake up again and start doing stuff that you need to. That's, that's my motto. So, yeah, anyways, like I said, I'm going to watch Gilmore Girls, go to sleep, and I'm thankful for my kitties, Speckles and Josephine. <laughs> Here on Phantom Stories. Remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel.